Well, it's a big day in the career of young Toby Civic. So few players actually achieve it, but you have. You've signed a professional contract with AFC Wimbledon. Tell us your emotions about doing that. Oh, right now I'm buzzing. I'm over the moon. It's every child's dream to sign a professional contract. Um, yeah, right now I'm just buzzing and I look forward to cracking on again. In particular as well, you've been here for a while, you've got to know the AFC Wimbledon story, where the club wants to go, how important was that for you? No, it's important knowing that AFC got taken away, the old Wimbledon got taken away to Milton Keynes and then it started off again and now we are in League One. Obviously I want to help and contribute to the team, help us get back to the Prem and do well in the future. Excellent, of course we've also got with us Head of Academy Jeremy Sawyer. Jeremy, how delighted are you that we've signed another one of last season's successful FA Youth Cup squad? Yeah, um, every every time a boy goes into professional contracts, we don't see that as our job done, but certainly the academy then is producing. So for us, it's a success massively. Um, like we've had previously when we sat in these positions with different boys, they all come from different backgrounds and some have been with us longer, some of us shorter. Um, Toby's not been with us quite as long, but um, in that time he's he's gone just like that really. He's got better and better to the point where this season um, he really caught the eye of Alan Reeves towards the back end of last season and now he's played some games for, for Reevesy and... Um, it's a no-brainer for us, really, and, and that's fantastic. When when the first team manager and the under 21 manager tells me that, I'm delighted. Toby, Jeremy's just touched upon it. How much has Michael Hamilton, James Oliver Pearce, in particular Mark Robinson, helped you with your game so far? No, Michael helped me a lot when I first came on trial. He used to talk to me, telling me what I need to do to get signed. And James as well, at the start of pre-season last year, he used to, used to pull me and Paul aside, along with Alan Reeves and Coxie, to do some extra heading to get us more aggressive in the game. And Robbo, Robbo's a great coach as well. He just helps everyone in the under-18 squad to get us better. Um, he improves us mentally, physically, and he just wants the best of us. Absolutely. It's a special day. Jeremy, I think we've, we've got a real knack of, of producing centre-backs mm. at the moment. We've seen Ryan Sweeney, Will Nightingale, mm. Paul Callan by, and, and now Toby as well. Mm. I mean, it's, 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 it's amazingly successful. And there's a couple more below that as well, believe it or not. Um, and I think people are starting to recognise it. There's definitely no coincidence, obviously, we've got... Alan Reeves, who's been in the job for now for three years, who's an uh, excellent back, and Neil Cox, who helps as well. So there's no coincidence there, but I also think that the, the industry as a whole over the last few years has neglected centre backs a little bit because academy football is often very pretty and it's lots of passing out from the back, and defenders aren't heading the ball enough and they're not dealing with crosses enough at that sort of top end of academy football. And I think, you know, when we've had lads come on trial with us who've been released from these bigger clubs and they come to us and we're a league one stroke two club back then, um, we're looking at their way, he can't head a ball, he's not aggressive enough and um, he, he can't lead a back four. So we look at that and go, well, he hasn't been given what he needs to earn a living in the game. So we're quite pragmatic, we're quite uh, realistic about what the boys' skill sets need to be and we make sure we give it to them. So when we're, when we're identifying Tobys or, or Pauls, we're looking for that, that, that love of defending, that, that desire to sniff out danger and um, you know they, they, the centre backs they have to love defending. They, it's part of their game they have to be able to do. And I think there's you know a niche there in terms of producing young players that a lot of other club, clubs ignore. So uh, I think we're good at it. I think you know it's, I don't want to become known just as a centre back academy because we've got plenty of other talent <laughs> in there. But certainly there seems to be a, a cohort every year coming through where we're looking at the centre backs going. There's lots of talent there. It's a very special day indeed for Toby Civic and uh, Toby, very well done indeed. Thank you. Well done, Toby. Cheers, thank you.